Morocco is getting the green stamp of approval on its renewable sector here to shed light on the industry's growth, Dea Udgiri. First, let's talk about some of the ambitious strategies in your country. Indeed, there is a lot of uh, things happening in the renewable sector in Morocco. And uh, actually, in Morocco, the electricity needs have been growing very strongly for many years now. And uh, to face those, the Morocco as a country had to actually double its total installed capacity every 10 years for the coming decades. And it had like two options to do that, either remain heavily dependent on the imports and continue to build what I can call black plants or go green. Bear in mind that we have indeed a very high quality of clean energies and also that we have a strong belief at the highest level of the state that only sustainable development can take place with environmental friendly strategies. We decided to go green, to go for renewables and we're targeting our energy mix to be 42% by 2020 from renewable energies. Solar is a thriving industry, but also very expensive. How are you able to make a decision to focus on it? We could maybe go back and understand indeed what solar energy provides to Morocco. There was a lot of things. First, it gives you the comfort that you will never lack your, uh, your resource because you own it and you, you do not depend on whatever to make it available. Second, with the available technologies of solar, actually you really can have the electricity you need whenever you need it, even during nighttime. A three with solar, it gives you a fixed price for 25 years. So you're not dependent on whatever geopolitical issue or whatever uh, to secure your price. Four, no more subsidies at the entrance, because as you know, like fossil energies are so, so heavily subsidized in so many countries in the world. And five, maybe at the end of your 25 years, you may end up with free electricity. So I think that when you end up all these advantages, for us, it was pretty much obvious to go uh, that way and to choose solar. So tell me about your stance on thermal technologies and pho photovoltaic in particular? Our stance is that those technologies complement very well one another. Uh, PV can answer specific needs, can be pretty modular and can even be developed uh, without a connection to the grid per se. CSP though can really provide you dispatchable electricity with tanks to storage. It can really provide you electricity during your peak hours that can be during nighttime. As Mazen actually we have been very much technology agnostic so what you have been trying to do is really to find like the most suitable solutions for our client OINI. And experience is showing that PV and CSP can live very well together and can answer different needs. And we're even now working on a new project, which will have hybrid plants using both CSP and PV, uh, which at the end probably will close this dichotomy we're seeing between PV and, and CSP. Tell me about who is behind NOR projects. Mazen is the sponsor. Mazen is also selecting uh, the developers that are in charge of the construction and the operation of those plants. And it does select these developers through international bidding processes. So actually, you're having a lot of uh, international and local companies that are involved um, in, uh, in these processes. So where do you stand on these projects now? Well, NOR 1, NOR Words is at 1, uh, which uh, actually is 160 megawatt. We'll get into commercial operation this year already and this is going to be the biggest CSP plants on a worldwide basis. Uh, Nord 2 and Nord 3 have reached financial close and will get into commercial operation in 2017. And uh, Nord at 4 will actually end up the uh, Nord Roses at complex that will reach uh, 550 megawatt in total. And actually this Nord 4 is having a PV technology and is being developed in parallel with two other projects in the Saharan south of the country. And we are also working on Nord Middelt, which will be pretty similar to Nord Roses at. And we have also qualified uh, another site on which works will accelerate on the coming year. Now, of course, money is very much a part of this conversation. Tell me about how you're going to structure finances to make sure they build and grow and thrive. You're right. I mean, money does play a very important role in this conversation. And we've put a lot of efforts on trying uh, to find the most suitable scheme that will lead us to the uh, optimized financing. And actually, we ended up playing the role of lender. Actually, as you know, like Mazen is a publicly owned company. Thanks to this, it can benefit from the government support to access concessional financing at very advantageous 
just conditions, very large maturities, very small interest rates. And we have packaged all these loans that we were able to mobilize into one loan that we have unlanded to the project companies that are in charge of the construction. And uh, with this, actually, we have been able to reduce the price of kilowatt hour by more than 30%. Now, where would you like to see these projects evolve into in terms of renewables and solar in particular? I want this project to be and remain shining. Uh, and I think that beyond uh, the development of this project that now have, have a very clear uh, structure, very clear schedule, what we would like to see is really to have an ecosystem being developed around these renewables. We've been trying as Mazen to develop integrated projects, meaning that beyond electricity production, we're really putting a lot of efforts on industrial integration, in R&D, on training, and last but not least, also on the local development of these implementation areas that are usually eccentric to make sure that they really benefit from all the positive externalities these huge projects are bringing.